Steph here from Sean Steph IRL. And this video will continue our training series on how to vlog with your phone. And this episode continues our talks about editing. There's a lot that goes into the edit process, so I'm breaking it down into smaller chunks so it's easier to understand and easier to follow along. And this part of the editing process is all about adding effects to our vlog in HitFilm Express. Now, before I begin, if you are joining us for the first time, make sure you check out all the other episodes in this training series. I'm gonna go over everything from the gear I recommend to the editing techniques necessary to publish your video to YouTube. And like I just mentioned, this is all about adding effects to our vlog in HitFilm Express. So let's jump over to HitFilm and get started. Now, as always, before I start, I wanna let you know that I'm working on a PC, but HitFilm Express will work on both Mac and PC. So no matter what you're using, what kind of computer you're using, you'll be able to use HitFilm Express. Okay, let's talk effects. What are effects and why do you need them? Well, I like to think of effects like a spice you add to your cooking. You don't necessarily need the spice, but when you add it to your food, it just tastes that much better. The same goes with effects. You don't necessarily need effects to finish your video, but it definitely adds a spice and definitely can up the production value of your video. So the effects we use in our videos are rampant design effects. If you don't know, Rampant is run by myself and Sean. We started Rampant about 10 years ago, so we could allow everyone to have access to great effects. So what makes Rampant effects so great? Well, the number one thing is these are real. These are actually real lights. They're real fire effects. They're real smoke effects. And this may not seem like a big deal, but when you want, when your effects are real and you add them to your video, they just look right. They don't look generated. They don't look fake. They look right because they are real. Literally, we set our, our yard on fire once. That's how real they are. Okay. So these are real effects and they're easily going to blend into your video and make your production value stand out. And that's what we want. We want our production to stand out. Okay. Another cool thing about rampant effects is that rampant has designed these packs called style kits and style kits are designed around a certain project type and can help add that special touch to your video. So they have a kit for every project type sports. Got it. Travel. Got that fashion. Had that too. Oh, and by the way, these packs are all under $20. So you can start building your effects library to today and keep adding new packs as you need them down the road. Perfect. And since we were talking about style kits, I love using them in our travel vlogs. So let me show you how I apply the rampant effects to my video project. Now, before we start adding these videos to our project, I wanna explain the types of effects that I typically add to my videos. All right, now there are typically three different types that we use probably pretty much in every single vlog. The first one's gonna be a light transition. Okay, light transitions are a great way to transition from one scene to the next. So let's say you're working out at the gym and the next scene is you eating at the buffet. This is a hard edit, right? So you're going from gym to buffet. So you can add a light transition in there to change between the gym shot and the breakfast shot. Makes it really nice. Another, the second type of uh, effect that we always use is an animated mat animated mats are so much fun. These are definitely my favorite effect. Using animated mats allows you to add more than one video to your scene. So for example, in our Gibraltar travel vlog, we had a lot of footage of monkeys, like seriously, monkeys and monkeys and monkeys. We easily had three hours of monkey video. Now nobody wants to watch three hours of monkeys. Well, I would totally watch three hours of monkeys, but normal people don't like watching three hours of monkeys. So to condense all of that footage, we put them into animated mats. They are, that allows us to show more footage and prevent, present the footage in a fun way. That's why we use animated mats. The third thing we use is animated emojis. And these are exactly what they sound like. There is nothing better than an animated emoji. Slap that sucker on your video and you can instantly create an emotion for your viewer. Then there are a bunch of other effects that we use in our videos, but those are the three that we use the most. Okay, now Rampant has a ton of training on the channel and check the link in the description if you wanna see all of the training. We have training on style kits and training on all of our effects. We have, it's an extensive library of training that we have. But I wanna show you in this training, I wanna show you the, how to use a transition um, on your vlog. This is probably one that you'll definitely wanna start out using. So I definitely wanna show you that and then you can check out our other training at Rampant for all the other tutorials. All right, so let's get back to HitFilm and look at our effects. Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to import our transition into our project. So here's my media folder and I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to put rampant transition and we need to bring our transitions in here. Well, how do we do that? Well, we're going to drag them in just like we did our music. So I'm going to open up my finder. I'm going to go find my rampant effects, which are right here. And I have my transitions right here for my travel O2 style kit. Double click that. And here are my transitions. I'm only going to bring two in right now. Drag those in. Okay. So now I have my transitions. You'll see here, there's one flash. Very nice. And here's the second flash. 
Okay. Again, these are real light effects, which is really, really awesome. And they look so good when we add them to our, our actual video. So let's go ahead and do that. How do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a point where we need to add a flash. And probably right here, we go from the boat to me talking is a great place to have a transition. Okay. How do we add this in? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my playhead up between my two points, my edit point. So I have a video clip here and a video clip here. And now I'm gonna go back to my transition over here. And what I'm gonna do, this is gonna help you out. I'm gonna to try to find here the brightest point of my transition. So probably right about here, okay? I'm gonna find this in the preview window first. When you find your brightest place of your transition, I'm gonna press the I key to create an end point. This is gonna be the point where my transition is going to happen. So we're gonna go from A to B, and I want my, my, my brightest point to be right in the middle. So now with my in selected, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click here on this window and I'm gonna drag the transition down here and drop it on the video layer above everything else, okay? Now with this selected, I'm now gonna pull this back and drag out the rest of the clip. So now I have a transition that looks like this. Good morning, everyone. See that? See how nice that looks? It looks amazing. So there's only one other step we have to do in here. We have to change the blend mode of this clip. Yes, you can use it like this as is, you can, but it doesn't look as natural as if you blend it. So how do we blend it? Well, we're gonna click on the effect, we're gonna come over here to the controls, and we're gonna twirl down clip properties. Right here, you're gonna see something called blend. We're gonna change this from normal to something called screen. See how it blended with my footage right here? I'm gonna just go back to normal. Okay, this is where it was normal. And when I press screen or select screen, it blends in. So it looks a lot more natural. So now let's watch that play through. Good morning, everyone. See? That's the effect. How awesome is that? Now we can go put these other, we can put these transitions anywhere we want. So we can come back here. Maybe we want to transition at the beginning where we transition from the sea to morning. Okay, right here. So let's go ahead and grab that other effect. So let's go back here. This is the second one. Remember, you're gonna find the brightest point of your transition. And this one has looks like it has a couple different transitions here, which is cool. So let's find, how about right there? It's pretty bright. Or we, we can do this one here, or we can do this one at the front. Let's do this one at the front. That one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna press I, create an endpoint. Then I'm gonna click on here and drag this, this transition down here and place it right where my file, where my edit point is. And then we're gonna drag it back out. So now we have something that looks like this. Okay, now all we have to do is blend it. We're gonna click on this, go to our controls, twirl down clip properties, change the blend mode from normal to screen. All right, so now if we play this through. See that? See how nice that is? It creates this really cool edit point where you kind of, the viewer's like, oh, we're in a different scene. And that's how we use transitions, okay? That's how easy it is. So keep add, you would keep adding transitions wherever you think you need them, wherever there's a hard edit point. But here's what I want you to keep in mind. Adding effects is just like spices. You can add too much, okay? Go sparingly and add them where you think you need it. And then you can always go back in and add more after you sort of take a whole view of your video, right? You don't want to add too much. You don't want it to make like effect, 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 effect. You want your, you still want your story to be the hero, okay? You don't want the effects to be the hero. You want people to go, wow, you really put a lot of flashes in there, All right? You don't want that to happen. You want people to be like, wow, that was a really cool tri trip that you went on. That's what you want to focus on. So put your effects in there, put them in sparingly, and you'll be good to go. And that's that. You're ready to go. Again, if you're interested in more training, check out Rampant's channel. The link is in the description. Remember, start small. Keep adding effects and feel, until you feel your video is just right. So that's it for this one, this tutorial. Join me for the next tutorial where we talk all about adding titles and text. Once again, I'm Steph from Sean and Steph IRL. If you would like more vlogging tips, check out makebettervlogs.com. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a downloadable PDF version of this training, training series, check the links in the description. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.